Okay, folks, let's go ahead and in this lesson, we're going to adjust the back bundle. As you can see, some of these uh, little elements kind of sticking through and we really need to adjust that. Otherwise, it's going to kind of really turns out to be ugly. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go to uh, my default camera really quickly. Here is we have the bag model. Let's go to the main bag and we have this main model. I'm going to just select the points here. Now let's see what we can do here. I'm going to uh, just right click and select the knife tool and change the mode to loop or even plane maybe work in this case. Let's see if we change the uh, direction. It's not quite a clean model but I think I'm going to click here, click here. Also, I'm going to click here, click here, and I think it's going to be enough. So let's uh, go ahead and select some of these points and try to adjust them. And um, I think possibly, now I want to really see what's going on with them. So let's go ahead and let's select these two guys and just make sure that this is the only thing that I have select it so make sure to control drag here so to clear any possible selection now let's move these guys a bit and let's see if there is any points here that we need to adjust again and let's see what we can do here. Now we really need to kind of adjust the model because it's really important to have those guys the way they should be. It didn't select these guys the way it should. Let's see. We possibly need to select about here. Turns out to be not right. Now, I don't want to turn off this um, close and this hyper nerve or subdivision surface because I really want to uh, make sure that. Uh, I see the model in its perfect situation so I can adjust those if necessary. Let's go ahead and try drag this a bit. Okay, that's for this side. And let's go to here. And I'm just going to select this points here and I'm just going to make sure I have nothing extra selected and I'm just going to move them a bit select these two guys here and just clear the selection and let's drag these guys forward a bit and I'm just going to Select this and control drag to make sure I have just this point selected. Okay, now if I get back to my main camera, uh, we should have a much more cleaner model without anything sticking through. Let's hit play and make sure that's gonna stay true throughout the whole uh, simulation. Okay, that's great. Now uh, uh, in the next lesson, we're going to be uh, actually uh, go through and uh, prepare our scene for render. We're going to be adding the uh, compositing tags, defining the object buffers, different passes, uh, make sure we have a nice uh, depth of field pass for our camera, and uh, hopefully we should be able to uh, render uh, in uh, after the next lesson is finished. So see you there.